Hi guys, it's Sheila Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out this three barrel curling iron from Revlon. I have it right here. This is actually my second time filming this video because the first one was definitely a major fail. So I'm going to let you guys know how I feel about it, what tips and tricks I learned um, when I tried it the first time and what didn't work out for me. And then we're going to hopefully see if it works out today. I've seen people use this so I know that it works. I just have to find like my way of using it. So I got it from Amazon and it retails for $23 and it's called the Revlon Perfect Heat Wave Jumbo 3 Barrel Waver. That is a long ass name, but that is how it's called. Um, so I feel like it's really affordable. I did see other ones that were pink and were really pretty, but I wasn't about to spend $30 for something that I would no wouldn't normally use because I feel like even having this, the style of curls that it, this gives you is not like something that I want to have every week. Like I still like my curling iron waves way more than like this. So this I'm probably use like maybe once every three months, not even. So I wasn't about to spend 30 bucks or 35 or 40. I'm sorry, but 23 is as far as I would go. So another reason why I picked this one is because it's really wide and me being really clumsy, like I'm not really like an expert doing my hair. I barely like brush my hair on a daily basis. It's just not something that I like to do. Like I'm great with makeup. It has to be either or. Um, but it's really wide so I feel like I could get my hair through and it would be really easy for me to use. So I'm going to show you to you guys, here is the top layer, obviously the curling iron, and then you have this little handle here which is where you close it and kind of stamp your hair onto that shape. And then right here it has the controls, so you have on and off right here, and then you have your, your heat levels. So you have from 1 to 15, it's supposed to be for fine hair, from 10 to 20, I'm sorry, from 1 to 10 is fine, fine hair, 10 to 20 is medium, and then 20 to 30 is thick. So that said, where you can really get onto the video, I'm gonna show you guys, like, I'm gonna let you guys know, like, what I did. So I did part my hair in a couple of sections here. Um, I did this on the first time, too, and I feel like I just did a couple of things wrong. I've seen people use this, so I know that it works. Number one, I didn't let the brush heat up for a long time, I only let it heat up for five to ten minutes because it's what I usually do. And that normally works fine with my curling iron that I use on a, on a daily. Um, but for some reason, for this one, it just wasn't hot enough. I don't know why. The second thing was that I put it from 1 to 10. Um, even though I don't have fine hair, I just don't like going in with that much heat. And then I was going to turn it up to 15. And I did. And it still didn't work. And I was turning it up to 20. But that by that point, I was too far along with my hair that it just didn't make a difference. And then the third thing was that um, I wasn't like pressing on too hard. I kind of just put it on and was doing like this. Um, and that kind of caught up to me at the end. I had one piece of hair that was like curled to perfection and that's how I got it done. So I'm pretty sure that is what you're, you're supposed to do. So that's it. Let's just go ahead and get started. I have it on 20 right now and it's been heating up the whole time that I was filming this intro. Something that you want to do is take really small chunks of hair. I don't even know if I want to part this in two. But that would take forever because I have so much hair. But I'm going to try it just to see if that is what makes the difference. So let's go ahead. So I'm going to take this little hair piece right here. And I'm going to start really close to my roots but not too close. Also the whole barrel is um, really hot. So don't put it too close to your face. Obviously it will burn you. And I'm just counting on to five. And we'll see how it looks. Oh, it is working. It is working. Okay, so I'm going to continue that. Honestly, taking these, piece, these little pieces of hair is going to take me forever to do this because I have so much hair, but we're going to do it for this video. Okay. Let's see how that works. So my hair is so long that it it's going to take me like three times. Oh, see what I mean? Like I just lost it now. And like this. Okay, that was like 12. That's pretty perfect, in my opinion. I feel like I should do more on the top. What do you guys think? I'm gonna just do a little bit more on the top. Right here. But it's definitely working way better than my first video. I'm gonna insert some footage um, right here so you guys can see it while I do this. Okay, so here is the perfect wave. I feel like that is so much better than what I had before. Honestly, this is going to take me five years to complete at this rate, but I got myself in this mess, so I have to continue, right? Okay. 
I am watching Juicy Jazz's um, latest video and she's doing it in Spanish, so I'm just gonna do that while I curl my hair and finish watching it. Something that I did notice when I first did this is that it didn't really last long on like my waist didn't really last long so if you are going to do this I would recommend probably spraying your hair first with like a setting spray or something like that and I feel like that's going to make it stay way longer because otherwise you're going to be really disappointed like this actually didn't even last hours like two hours on my on my hair I keep saying it on my skin <laughs> Okay, so I think by the time I finish this, my hair is going to be like completely flat because I have so much hair. But I feel like I, I'm getting the hang of it. I feel like you have to really press on that handle. Like after you have it, just like press even more. And it's kind of like making my wrist hurt because I'm doing it like so often. But that is the only way that I can like get the curls really like marked and defined. guys so this is it I feel like over here it's a little bit messy if I just put my whole hair down it just doesn't look like perfect and there's some areas he like here that it just didn't curl like all the way um so my thoughts on this definitely worked a lot better than my first time but it's just too voluminous for my type of hair I feel like so I feel like I have to put some kind of product on my hair first before I start using this like I said like some kind of setting spray I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to like mess with the whole first impression second impression but I do feel like it worked a lot better than my first time do it look like I just woke up and they didn't brush my hair or anything yes do I look like a lion pretty much yes but <laughs> I do like it um obviously I have to like just get a little bit better at doing the curls which I think I have the hang of it just a tiny little bit so what I think you should do is always maintain the hair on the center of the of the wand uh, instead of like the corners because that way you can really press and it kind of like actually gets that shape. Um, and I did put it a little bit warmer. I had it on 25, which I think is absolutely crazy because I don't like to put that much heat on my hair. But that is the only way that I could make this work. And uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I honestly don't think it's worth it in my opinion maybe when I learn to actually use it but the reason I say it's not worth it is not because of how it turned out it's just because how long it took me so my hair is really really long and I had to on some like on some areas like the long ones over here like this I had to put it on four times on just that one area and if I had just a normal regular curling iron I would just take that piece of hair curl it around wait 10 seconds and that's it it's done that whole area is done with this one I had to wait 10 seconds per like per section and that's just a long time for me I mean it took me 25 minutes um, which I don't think it's bad but honestly I got really bored like not gonna lie I got really bored <laughs> and uh, yeah you can see that it's curled but like I said it's like really natural curls kind of like a 
Like it looks like I let my hair dry and it looks like this, which that part I do like and I do enjoy it. Maybe if I'm doing like a hairdo, I would enjoy this more, but I just feel like in some areas it just looks a little bit messy. And maybe I just, I don't know, comment, comment down below if you have used this and I'm just using it wrong or what it is that I'm doing wrong. Um, my hair is pretty clean, so I feel like in that sense, that's probably why it's been so crazy and like just being so voluminous. Those are my tips. Those are things that I did wrong on my first video and that's how I attempted to improve it, but I don't think it looks any different. So let me know below if you like this video. I did insert some clips off my first time using it and I still don't think this is for me. I just maybe don't have the patience for it. But I've seen some pictures of people using it and it looks absolutely stunning and amazing. So I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong. But anyways, I hope you guys know what not to do when you're using this Revlon um, curling iron. And let me know below if you have tried it, if you're gonna try it, or if you're just if you're into the whole like look altogether. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.